Hello guys, welcome to Notley High School Cisco Academy's podcast. Today we'll be talking about the overall topic of net neutrality. Now, what I'd like to start off with, not, may, not everyone may know what exactly net neutrality is, so if you guys want to share like what you feel like is exactly the basic premise of it. So um, net neutrality, what it does is um, it doesn't allow for the slowing or blocking of different websites or companies. They all share one, uh, like ISP and bandwidth. So uh, this provides for freedom of speech, as anyone can post anything or say anything on the internet. And um, it's been a recent political controversy, uh, if anyone would like to explain. Well, the uh, net neutrality was uh, mostly introduced in the uh, Open Internet Order in 2015. It established like three core principles, uh, kind of relates to what you said, no blocking, no discrimination, no paid prioritization of internet traffic. So it's, uh, it's basically what you said. Yeah, so basically without it, company, like without the regulations, companies could just slow or block competitors that they don't like to prioritize their own services to promote their own services. So with these regulations in place, that prevents that and like everything is equal. I mean, I feel like with the whole net neutrality with it being repealed with like the FCC, I mean, things really didn't kind of change how I feel. I mean, do you, what do you guys think was real, the real motive for like the FCC pushing to remove it? I think it was uh, mostly uh, the bribe maybe or payment from the uh, ISPs. Because they're the ones who only, they're the ones who mostly want to change. So if anything, it was them paying some people to lobby this. And uh, they're, they're the ones that really stand to gain here. It's hard for you to notice because <laughs> some websites for you, you may just blame it on your internet at that one point, but it may be actually slowing you down. So you wouldn't really know. I mean, I feel like what also with like an argument is as well, like with the removal of it helps smaller businesses compete as well, as opposed to just big, but also like big name businesses just taking over as well. I mean, but that would uh, be the opposite because the removal allows big businesses and big corporations to pay the internet service providers money to, uh, to slow down the, uh, the internet connections of their providers or sorry, of their competition and then increase theirs. So like, Verizon using their own movie streaming and like trying to block Netflix on yeah. their ISP. It'd be, it, yeah. They could do that. Yeah, like um, people want to view the internet as like a free public utility, but then the con of this is kind of just like um, it doesn't compensate for data usage. So stuff like Skype, which uses a lot of real time video calling, or like Netflix, which has high definition streaming, um, these services these services are not. Utilize, they utilize a lot of data, um, but it's on like the free ISP infrastructure. Well, I mean, the ISPs have good reason in this case because they spent billions of dollars uh, building the backbone of the entire internet. And then in the end, they're not even given the chance to uh, do what they want with it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when it really comes down to it, we didn't pay for this the backbone of the internet or like the uh, connections that were made so i don't know in a, in a way we don't really have a say so you feel like they're just trying now to just make their money back from like what they've built i up. mean they've been making their money back that's no, no question i'm just saying that it's not like you can't just be completely ignorant of the fact that they that they actually built the entire internet they have that, but the thing is um Removing these regulations could hurt the consumer overall because um, it could charge, it could end up costing them more money. Just like if, like if you want to uh, access a certain website that you always like, like you like to go on Twitter. Um, so like day to day stuff that changes. Yeah, well. like I heard that um, that net neutrality they could possibly um, create like these internet packages and that you would buy them and pay extra to access certain like a, like kinds of websites like for example a social media package or you know so like what other countries currently have sometimes like, i know yeah, in I some that, asian like, countries it's like well if you want to access like youtube instagram twitter and all that you have to buy this package 
Yeah, Netflix, so it could be Netflix, something like another, that. It's another they, they have this it, in Portugal. In Portugal, they it, have it in Portugal. Yeah, ultimately it hurts the consumer because then, like, if they want to access all these websites that they like to access, they have to just overall pay more. For, like, and these companies these are already packs. making a lot of money. They're making billions and billions. It's not like they're hurting themselves. <laughs> so do you think that they should be paid based on usage? Like, if somebody streams video games or, like, Netflix 24-7, but then someone just checks Instagram, like, twice a week, but then they have to pay the same thing. Like, what do you think about that? Oh, I mean, that, when it comes down to it, I think it still should be like payment based on like your plan. Yeah. Because when it comes to internet usage, it's like even if you send more, it doesn't really make a difference for them in a way. Well, if you're also using just to check like Twitter or Facebook, then you would want a lower uh, megabit plan as opposed to someone who's streaming 24-7. Well, I feel like the data you should send kind of sounds like the data that you get on your phone. It's sort of like that kind of thing. It's like a data plan. So like so like people now, like with data plans on their phones, they get lower data plans. Like they don't get unlimited if they barely use data, if they're barely on Wi-Fi. But the thing is, uh, if it were some sort of thing like that with like the actual like Wi-Fi we have in our house, it'd be much different. Like I feel like a, like a lot of people actually do use the internet regularly. Well, how do you think like internet providers will react to, like the whole new concept of without like net neutrality, like what we had before? You think anything will change, or it'll just stay the same? Well, in the past, when we didn't have net neutrality regulations, things happened like like in two thousand two thousand seven to two thousand nine. Um, it's like Obama administration. You no, know, like before him, like during Bush, um, like before him, when before net neutrality regulations. Um, AT&T uh, basically told, forced Apple to not, um, they forced Apple uh, to not allow Skype like on their iPhones because like, like or any sort of like internet based like, like voice calling. So I feel like they can, they can and will do something like that because they have in the past. Like they can block certain services that they don't like in order for them to have more of a profit. Um, okay, let's see. I saw this video and was talking about like bigger companies, if they want to vote, they wanted to vote against the repeal of net neutrality because they didn't want to have to pay for better, for like their own fast lane. Um, if, I think people have used that analogy before. And then, Oh no! Uh, so you want to comment on that? I mean, the the services online that don't want to pay for fast lane, majority of them are probably already making a lot of money. Yeah. Like a lot of money. Like Google makes a lot of money. Netflix makes a lot of money. Amazon. So them paying for fast lane, like that's just them. Like by not wanting to pay, it's just them trying to get make more profit in that case. Well, in the end, it's more of like a political thing as well as like a greed thing as well. It's like how corporate America is. Yeah, I mean, everything is for sale. So, I mean, eventually it's going to come down to something like the internet. Yeah. Where people are going to start paying for chunks of the internet. In and you can only access certain chunks. Well, I feel like we've cut, basically covered the whole premise of net neutrality. Uh, thanks for joining us today, guys. Appreciate you tuning into the podcast. My name's Costell. We have also on Luke. set Luke as Adrian. well. Bernard. And thanks for joining.